All right, yo, what's up? My name's Petrowski. There's a ton going on. Gen 9 PvP is finally out on Showdown, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it out. I have a special Petrowski tier team built here. A lot of shenanigans going on. We've got the new Deli Bird that I want to try out desperately. It's Thanksgiving currently. Just had a big meal. Now it's time to go ahead and drop the recording. Got a cough drop in the mouth as well. Been pretty sick, so if you hear any noises like that, apologies in advance. Hopefully the battling... And the content is enough to warrant it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving, had some good food, maybe some mashed potatoes, hopefully some stuffing, the two best on the dinner table there. So we're against Palafin. I keep hearing this thing is broken, like the when it changes, not the actual dolphin itself, but it changes into the Superman type guy and it gets pretty freaking scary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and safely Aurora Veil against it, I assume. I don't know what every Pokemon does. We're looking at... Cyclozar over here. Now he is a dragon normal with regenerator or shed skin. Two very strong abilities. We see Garchomp. My team is a hail based team, which is really, really fun. I'm excited to see this Pokemon, Bramble Gas. I think it's really interesting. I don't know if it'll actually uh, do well or be good, but I think it'll be interesting. Let's go ahead and go for the Aurora Veil off the bat. He flip turns. I'm super okay with that. That is going to transform him into the the stronger dolphin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's on it's on switch out. So what you can do is just lead with him. Go for that and then pop off. Now he's gonna see both of my stuff. He's gonna get access to Aurora Veil vale here. Um I'm trying to think what's my best situation to I guess go for here. What is my best play against this thing? I could just head straight on over to Frostmoth if he wants to go like this. Yeah, I don't I don't see a reason not to go Frostmoth and just start setting up insanely hard, right? I'm trying to think of a reason not to. I don't know what his item is gonna be here. I'm not super worried. Like if he if he blizzards into this thing, I don't really care. Um yeah, I think Frost Moth looks super strong here. Let's go ahead and go over to it. See what happens. He goes for the Aurora Veil, which is pretty expected, but now I can go ahead and just start quiver dancing up and not really not really care. Just chilling. My main Oh yeah, he's gonna bring this thing in. Sure. I'm super okay with this. Water type against my Frost Moth. I can terrestrialize if I want. I have a terrestrialized grass type set here for this specific, which is pretty interesting. Um so I could go ahead and terrestrialize here and go for the Gate Drain. I don't know if I need to. Um, I assume since a physical attacker, I'm pretty sure I have the Aurora Veil up. I should be pretty safe. I could go ahead. I think I just Quiver Dance again. I don't there's any reason for me to not Quiver Dance. I don't think he has, does he have access to any like rock or fire type moves? I don't know. A Quiver Dance, I'm definitely faster now. So I've been a little greedy. He's just going to flip turn. Wow. Okay. I'll take that for sure. Ah, smart play, I guess, by him. Kind of a, okay, I'm being a little greedy. I'm not used to playing against uh, the Ditto for sure. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Blizzard here, I assume. The Blizzard, I think, is, is the right play here, I think. Hail is up. We both have Aurora Veils up. I'm not used to playing against Ditto players. Oh my goodness, the absolute zero damage. The absolute zero damage. So you know what? Is there, is there any reason for me to not just go ahead and keep Quiver Dancing up? And I have to look for some... Yeah, I just Quiver Dance up. Let him do whatever. He can't Terrastalize like I can, though, right? I assume that's, that's the big difference here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Quiver Dancing... And then eventually go for a terrestrialization Giga Drain, maybe. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to have to use terrestrialization here as my only concern. I'm gonna get to here in case he switches to something to go for priority. And yes, Giga Drain is gonna do insane damage there, killing the Palafin, putting me to high HP. And now he's gonna bring back the Ditto, I assume. Yep. Because this is his only way to deal with this. How how else does he how else does he answer this, right? I mean, the biggest thing is he he's just choice scarf, I assume. So, I mean, I have the advantage of being able to go for extra quiver dances, and that's the best advantage that I can I can take, right? Um, 33%. I'm going to go ahead and Giga here. It's kind of weird. He gets the crit. It makes sense. You know, I had to expect it coming. Um, do I just lose now? That's really unfortunate, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, I need some sort of rock type or fire type attack. I do have Fire Blast on Garchomp, which was super important, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. <sighs> This is unfortunate. If I lose to this, it'd be pretty sad. I do have Stone Edge on Annihilate, but I want to, I have Choice Band Annihilate with Stone Edge. That actually might be better for me. Yeah, them, but he's going to be faster, right? Oh, I think I might be screwed here. I'm not going to lie. I'm 499 speed on the Garchomp. I might just lose here, right? How do I? I'm trying to how I win this. Do I have to come in first on Blissey and, and, and T-Wave it? I could probably survive with Blissey, get the T-Wave off, make it a little slower, give Paralyzed Chance. I feel like this is my best bet, probably. I'm not used to playing against Ditto. I'm not used to it. So if you're not familiar, I'm a Pokemon player. I'm used to like 5th gen and below, but very specific mechanics. 5th gen and below, I'm going to protect here. 
get that get that uh that uh what's called leftover seal i'm used to like fifth gen and below mechanics but with a lot of gen 8 mechanics thrown in a lot of gen 8 move sets and some of the custom changes so my experience with competitive pokemon is really really interesting it's very unique uh it's a very customized one i do have a decent amount of experience um but it's very custom it's very very interesting so he's probably for like what bug buzz here i think i just do i really just sack my my guy i probably do i think most of his attackers left are physical I'm okay with letting Blissey go down here. Blissey's really nice on this team because being able to set up Aurora Veil. What is a bomb? Bomb Master does a lot here. Is there anything that like I can sack that doesn't really do much that much this game? I don't know how much I don't know how much Annihilate. I mean my Annihilate doesn't even have ghost coverage. So I don't want to go like Shadow Claw, it's not really worth. Um I think I'm okay to just like go for double protect or soft boil or something to just try to sack my Blissey essentially. We'll go for the double fail. It's okay. Gets crit. I don't. Have, I don't. Have, I don't think. I don't think it mattered. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it mattered for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and I think here we either go annihilate or Garchomp and have to hope for some sort of para or hope that I'm faster with the. I don't know how fast he is with the with all all the, all the boosts and everything. Um, let's go ahead and go. Which is gonna be better? I think annihilate does more damage. But yeah, I think annihilate does more damage. We'll see though. We're gonna go for the uh, the Stone Edge for sure. This thing should be four times weak. It's parrot. If I can get it parrot a couple times, game's still winnable, but it's definitely really, really tough. Um, yeah, it's going to be really, really, really tough. I have 46 seconds left of play as well. He switched it. Wow, I respect it. Really surprised to see him go for the switch there. I Wow, I'm really surprised. I mean, he has the... I don't, I don't think he dies. I really don't think he gets one shot since he has the ice body ability or ice scales or whatever. Really shocking to see that. I think I'm just going to hard go Obama Snow here. That really brings me back into the game. He sets up self rocks. I'm super okay with that. That like totally, totally, totally really brings me back into the game. Really surprised he did that. I want to bring in my Deli Bird and, and get some damage off. That'll, that's what I'm looking for here. Outrage. I get my Aurora Veil up. Uh, I'm free to just Blizzard here always. Never a reason for me not to just spam Blizzard here. He's locked in. I take way less damage now. I get like a free kill or a Blizzard on something. Yeah, easy, easy Blizzard. I don't think what's a better play there instead of the outrage. I don't know what it, what it what Pokemon do though. I don't know if, if any of them have the coverage. This thing's definitely gonna be faster than me. Am I okay with sacrificing? I don't think I want to sacrifice this yet if possible. Does he go for a normal type attack? I kind of want to go over to Annihilate. I don't know what, enough about what this Pokemon does. Is my only concern. Um, I might just go Annihilate here. Uh, the issue is if he's full speed, he's gonna be faster as well. And if he double hits me, that's when I get really really screwed. But I do have the Veil. I want to be able to switch in this guy and absolutely pop off is the main thing next. That's that's the main thing. Um, do I really want to sack this yet? I think I'm okay with sacrificing this and just going for it. What does Shed Tail do? No idea what this new move does. It sets up to substitute and then switches, it seems like. Super happy I stayed in and went for the attack. It was very, it was very risky of me to like essentially just... I mean, not risky. I essentially realized that I was giving up my Obama Snow to do that play. I'm okay with that. Tidy up. This thing can be insane. I've seen this thing get really, really strong. Ooh, a huge freeze, though. Obama Snow is putting in work this game. Some of the most work I've ever seen from an Obama. Do I want to go? Yeah, just Blizzard. This thing's popping off. Oh, my goodness. He's taking out Pokemon and Pokemon. He says GG's. I feel like even if I don't get the freeze there, I'm still in a very good position. Hail is up for two turn or snow, I guess now. Once again, I just sack it. <coughs> Excuse me. Apologies for the coughing. And he really just goes for a knockoff being super greedy. It's not ever going to do enough damage to take care of me. Maybe I, that was a crazy play. Am I faster here? No, I'm never, ever faster here. Grass goes. I just go. I guess he's just trying to stall snow. I really want to. I really want to switch here, actually, and be, be able to set snow back up with Obama snow. I feel like it's actually worth. Um, what do I go here though? What move is he gonna do? Ghost grass. I might just go Garchomp here. I'm just gonna go Garchomp. Pretty much whatever he brings, in, I always just go Garchomp here. Nightshade. Wow, interesting. Super okay with that. Uh, and then I just go for like EQ. I think always here. One Raider Infiltrator. I could Draco. I guess it's not really. I don't know. It's whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna EQ here. EQ is always safe. 40% not great okay so now 
Do I just switch back over to Obama Snow and then bring in the Delibro to clean up? That's what I want to do. Let's see. I don't know if I actually need to do it like this. Strength sap. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I can set up Aurora Veil again if he lets me. Nope, that's okay. Now I can bring in... Bring in the bird. Now this is the Pokemon that I'm the most excited for. I love Deli Bird. I, now I can watch this Blizzard. This Blizzard is about to do crazy damage. This thing is insane. The stats on this Pokemon are so, so fun. Oh no, does this thing, this thing tanks ice moves? I do not. I need to look up this Pokemon right now. So you got smoking up on the side. Bramble Dash. Is it a, what is Wind Rider? Bramble Dash. What does this ability do? I've got to see. We got to, we got to learn stuff. We got so much to learn. Wind Rider. If hit by a wind move or tailwind gets one plus one attack. Wind move immunity. How do you know that Blizzard is a wind move? Uh, yeah, wind activates wind and wind rider. Wow. Okay, well, today we learned. We're going to learn today, and today we learned. That makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and I guess just hydro pump, and that's my typing. Definitely super awkward, but we'll take it. Wow. Okay, huge mistake by me. Wow. Okay. What's the other play I can make here? Should I just go Annihilate or something? I could still throw this, I guess, crazily enough. Because this thing's going to be really annoying to deal with. Uh, I'm going to Terra Blast, but not use the Electric. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, it's Ghost Type. What am I doing? I'm throwing because I'm panicking against a new Pokemon. Oh, my goodness. I need to do something. I need to go Garchomp and Fire Blast. Yeah, I need to go Garchomp and Fire Blast. What am I doing? I need to hit it as well. 39%. This thing is tough to deal with. I can still lose here, which is super unfortunate. I'm going to go Annihilate and get some huge damage. I think... Uh, I can never CC this, obviously. EQ or Stone Edge. I think I Stone Edge. Right? Or I could just EQ. I don't know if it matters. I think I just EQ for the most damage. Yeah, I just EQ. EQ is the safest. I'm an idiot. It resists. Why does Grass resist Ground? Oh my goodness. I'm inting. I think I'm going to throw this game. Actually crazy. Actually crazy. It's embarrassing. Oh no. Go back to it in Stone Edge. Strength Sap. I'm not used to the new move. Okay, we get the crit. KO. The better Pokemon is definitely going to come through here, guys. Definitely didn't get a little lucky. Uh, he does get Para. Oh, he's still Para. Ah, okay, this Para carries through. That's huge. I miss Donut here. Do I just switch and play it safe? How do I do this? Am I faster on the... I'm faster on the bird, so I should be fine to Stone Edge here. I think I, I, think I always win these. But, dude, I'm not going to lie. I probably should have lost this. I played way too... I made way too many... I made so many mistakes. So many mistakes, it, it, it became crazy. So many mistakes that it became crazy. I didn't even use my terrestrialization here. We missed the Stone Edge. That's okay. He, he gets paralyzed. We hit a Stone Edge. I just need to weaken him enough. He's paralyzed. I just need to weaken him enough to get my, my Deli Bird in. Yo, that's a crazy game. I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of, like, new gen. Just pretty, like, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I think my opponent made a lot of, like, battle mistakes. He challenged me. My opponent made a lot of battle mistakes, but I made a lot of, like, just knowledge mistakes and information and understanding what... New Pokemon do, what abilities do, what typings do. How, you know, how embarrassing is that? Let's go ahead and jump with the Abomasnow lead probably again. Against Rotom Wash. We see the Delibird. Claude Sire. You love to see him on a team. I don't think Claude Sire is that good, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if Annihilate is good either. I don't I don't really think it is, but man, is it a cool Pokemon? It looks incredible. So I'm not used to Corviknight. I know Corviknight is one of those Pokemon that everybody understands. Everybody's used to. Um, I'm not. I'm super not used to all these new 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 age new gen Pokemon. Most of my new age Pokemon experience comes from random battles or PU and RU. PU, RU, NU. Like those are those lower tiers. I'm a lower tier player. Um so usually I'll hop on showdown to play lower tiers. I'm not used to OU, especially, you know, in Gen 9, I have all this stuff. I'm not even playing I'm not even playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So this is this is where I'm getting all of my information from, from the new games, the new mechanics, and the new Pokemon from Showdown. Getting it all for free absolute budget absolute budget gamer here so let's go ahead and get our music bag on and everything get back to battling one sec excuse me <coughs> no cuts no editing i want to get that out today okay let's go ahead and see what we got going on corviknite i want to just blizzard I think my blizzard is decent but the issue is i know he's obviously gonna be able to roost depends on how much i could blizzard and then get a switch and try to gain some momentum I'm okay with that. He's going to straight up get rid of the Aurora Veil, which is super fair. Only doing 30% is kind of insane. Okay, I need I need to switch out here then, for sure. I want to be able to bring in... I think I just go hard bird. Go hard to the bird. I go hard bird here. He could U-turn here. That'd be a really good play. Okay, I'm super okay with Iron Head. 
I think it's tankier than I realized. I could do a couple of things here. I think I just always blizzard. What what does he bring in? I guess is the question. What does he he might go Rotom Wash. If he goes Rotom Wash. Oh my goodness. An absolute demon play is to to terastalize here and go for the I might go for it. Because if he goes Deli Bird or Rotom Wash, or I could just sub, this is a demon play. But if he stays in, it's a little funny. Oh, it crits and kills though. But yeah, I do that because if he goes Rotom or the bird here, it's insane. So now I can just blizzard this. I think I'm faster. Look at the bird double crit. Are you kidding? The bird. The bird sweeping two for two for O. Oh. Two for free. His bird coming in. But look, my bird's the counter bird. My bird's the counter bird. He missed his hydro. My bird's the counter bird. Triple crit. Triple crit. What just happened? That was the <laughs> that was the most insane. We got the triple crit bird game. What just happened? That was the most insane Gen 9 Deli Bird game ever. I'll say it. Ever for sure. That was insane. That was absolutely bonkers. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and run back. Let's do one more. So actually, I mean, do it. It's how how do you follow up a game like that? How do you follow up a masterful performance of absolute skill and integrity and no RNG involved with taking that W? I think it's too hard to follow it up. I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I had so much fun playing this. If you guys want to see more Jet 9 Showdown content, let me know. Whether it's like making funny teams like this. I'm all about the meme teams. I'm going to be doing a lot of Deli Bird testing. It's just too much fun. I love the dumb Pokemon. So if you want to see dumb Pokemon, scene play and try to try to try, try mount OU. If you want to see randoms, lower tier stuff, let me know. Appreciate you guys watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe. Yada, 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 yada. Have a great day. You guys know the spiel. YouTube stuff. Have a good one. Peace. Bye. Eat pie. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.